Welcome viewers in another brand new video about how to generate wind speed and wind direction map using uh, ArcGIS. Hope you will like it. Stay with me and follow the easy steps. So here you go. This is my data file. You can see over here the station uh, S1, S2, S3, S4 and 2S7 and uh, also x coordinate and y coordinate i mean lat and long and then wind speed and wind direction so save this file as uh, csv ms dos So you can see over here my data file has been saved in M uh, CSV MSDOS format. Uh, open ArcMap. First go to layer and then properties. And then uh, change the map unit as meters. Then click OK. Now add uh, the CSV file. So go to your data file. I'm adding data.csv. Open. You can see the overall data. Data and then go to display XY data. Here uh, display XY data and then you can see the coordinate system is unknown. So go to edit and then go to geographic coordinate systems and world. Then select WGS 1984 then click OK. Then OK. Yeah here is my stations and along with data data then export data output picture class uh, select the path where you want to save your output file and rename uh, as your preferences I'm going to rename as uh, stations then save and ok So my stations uh, and uh, uh, data has been uh, saved as shapefile. You can change the symbol. I'm reducing the uh, symbol size. Label feature. Yeah, you can see the station name and then go to a special analyze tools and then interpolation then click on idw you can see idw dialog box appears and then add station as input point features and jet will field uh, here uh, add uh, speed i mean wind speed as jet will field and output raster you can uh, select your path where you want to save your output file and rename it I'm going to name it as speed then save and then click OK so you can see over here uh, the wind speed IDW has been generated And then again uh, click on IDW and uh, uh, add a station as input point features and uh, add uh, direction as jet will field and then you can uh, select the path where you have to save or you can rename it later our uh, wind direction IDW has been uh, generated and I'm going to rename it as direction so we got direction and uh, wind speed data and now uh, click create fishnet you can uh, search create fishnet and then you will get it 
output feature class uh, name it and I'm going to name it as uh, wind and save after that template extend so here uh, select same as layer direction and after that uh, write cell size width you can write uh, 500 or 1000 and cell size height will be same and then click ok you can check this create level points then click ok so create fishnet operation has been uh, successfully done now you can check the tribute table and here you can see the wind speed and wind direction is not added so we will uh, add uh, here so go to extraction and extract multi values to points here input point features add wind level as input point features and then input rasters uh, you have to add direction and uh, uh, speed as uh, input rasters and then click ok so it's going on now you can check now you can see the wind direction and wind speed has been added in the attribute table so i'm going to uncheck wind and then go to wind level and properties and then go to symbology and quantities and graduate symbols and in the value field uh, add uh, wind speed you can also uh, reduce or increase the classes I'm uh, keeping it as 4 and then go to template select uh, any symbol that you uh, prefer then you edit symbol and uh, in font uh, I'm selecting uh, SD cartography and I'm selecting this uh, direction sign and uncheck this on and then click OK and then uh, click on advanced and rotation and rotation style I'm keeping it as geographic and rotate points by angle in this field and uh, select direction and then OK OK so you can see now uh, our uh, wind direction uh, with uh, wind speed has been generated you can see here the wind speed along with wind uh, direction so go to properties and uh, you can reduce uh, the uh, number after fraction i'm going to keep it as three yeah then okay see the result here and uh, you can do the same as uh, before also you can uh, change the color yeah I can reduce uh, the number after fraction same for this one also you can also uh, show uh, the wind speed uh, in along with the direction so for this level field as speed and check the level features in this layer then ok so it has been added uh, along with the direction you can keep it or uh, also you can uncheck the level feature so here is our result hope you like this video to get more exciting and cool tutorial like this one then please do subscribe our channel and share with your fellows
थैंक यू वेरी मच